So hello friends. Welcome to Easy Data Fundamental. In this video, we will see 10 basic Windows commands that are useful for everyday tasks in the command prompt. So let's get started. So guys, in this video, we will see 10 basic Windows commands that are foundational and can help in managing files, folders, and system tasks efficiently. So don't skip this video. Watch the full video for your better understanding. If you are a beginner, then this video will be very helpful to enhance your Windows skills. So first of all, start command prompt. I hope you know how to start command prompt. But if you don't know how to start command prompt, then just go to Start menu and type CMD and press Enter. Your command prompt will open. Number 1. So guys, our first command is MKDIR. The MKDIR command in Windows is used to create new directories or folders in the file system. MKDIR stands for Make Directory. This command is useful for organizing files into separate directories. So let's try our first command in CMD. You can see here that we are in E folder. I hope you are aware about that. And you can also see here that in our directory or folder, we have only one file. Now we want to create new folder in this directory. So just type MKDIR rough. And our folder named rough is created. You can see here. So using this command, you can create a new directory or folder. So I hope you understand this command. And I assume that you are simultaneously testing this command with me in your CMD. So let's go to our next command. Number two. Guys, our second command is CD. The CD command in Windows is used to change the current directory in the command prompt. It allows you to navigate through your system's folder structure. So let's try this command in our CMD. Here you can see that we are in E directory and we want to go to our newly created rough directory. So for that, just type CD rough and you can see that now you are in rough directory. If you didn't provide any path after CD, then it display the current directory. Now, similarly, if you want to come out from the rough directory, then just type CD. And you can see that now you are in E directory. So I hope you understand CD command also. So let's go to our next command. Number three. Guys, our third command is DR. The DR command in Windows is used to list the contents of a directory, including files and subdirectories. It provides details such as the file size, date of modification, and file attributes. So let's explore this command in our CMD. So just type DIR, and you can see that it displayed all directory present in our E drive. This command provides all the directory and files that is present in our working directory. By default, running DIR lists the contents of the current working directory. You can specify a path to list the contents of a different directory. So this is basic command. And I hope you have not any trouble while working with this command. So let's go to our next command. Number four. Guys, our fourth command is CLS. This is one of the very simplest command. The CLS command in Windows is used to clear the command prompt screen. It removes all previously displayed text and resets the console view, leaving a clean slate for new commands. So let's try this command in our CMD. So just type CLS and you can see all contents are invisible. When you run the CLS command, all output currently visible in the command prompt window is erased. The cursor moves to the top of the screen, ready for new input. So I hope you understand this command also. So let's go to our next command. Number five. In above this video, we see that how to create new folder with the help of MKDI or command. Now we will see that how can we remove particular folder. So guys, for that, we introduced our new command. That is our MDIR. The RMDIR command in Windows is used to remove directories, folders, 
It can delete empty directories or, with additional options, remove directories along with their contents. So let's try this command in our CMD. So, guys, you can see that in our E drive, we have one directory that is rough. Now for removing the directory, just type rmdi or rough. And you can see that our command is executed successfully. And see here that our E drive rough directory is removed. Generally, the rmdi or command deletes the specified directory if it is empty. If the directory contains files or subdirectories, you need to use the slash s option to delete everything inside it. Guys, I hope you understand the above five commands. These are basic commands of Windows, and you can easily understand these commands without any trouble. So now before going to number six, if you are new on my YouTube channel, then don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest video notifications. Number six. So guys, till now we have seen how to create folder, how to delete folder, and another some commands. Now we will see how to create file. So for that, I introduced our new command that is echo file.txt. Guys, this command is used to create the new file. So let's try this command in our command. So let's first create our new folder rough, then change directory. And now for creation of file, just type echo file.txt. This is command creates the file that is actually empty. You can see here that our file is created and see the file is empty. Now if you want to create file with specific content then type echo hello world file onetxt It creates file that contains the content hello world. See here our file is created and see the content hello world that is placed in file. So guys this is one method of creating file. Actually there are another method is also there. But it is simplest one. So I hope you understand this command also. So let's go to our next command. Number seven. So, guys, after learning the how to create new file, our next step is how to remove file. So for that, I introduce the our new command. That is del. The del command in Windows is used to delete files from the system. It allows you to remove one or multiple files from a specific directory. So let's try this command in our CMD. Guys, here you can see that we have two file in our directory. And for removing the one file from directory, just type delfile.txt and you can see that our command executed successfully. And here you can see that file.txt file is removed from our directory. So this is the example of how to delete file from directory. I hope you understand this command also. Let's go to the next command. Number eight. Guys, after learning the how to create a file and how to delete the file, you have curiosity that how can I read the file or how can I see that what is written in particular file. So for that, I introduced our new command. That is type. The type command in Windows is used to display the contents of a text file directly in the command prompt. It can also combine and display the contents of multiple files. So let's try this command in our CMD. Guys, here you can see that we have two file, file.txt and file1.txt. Now for reading the file, just type, type file.txt, and you can see that the content of file.txt file is displayed. Similarly, type file1.txt, and you can see that the content of file1.txt is displayed. So I hope you understand this command also. Let's go to the next command. Number nine. Guys, our ninth command is rename. The rename command in Windows is used to rename files or directories. It allows you to change the name of a single file or folder or batch rename multiple files using wildcards. So let's try this command in our CMD. Guys, here you can see that we have one file file.txt. And for renaming this file, just type rename file.txtg.txt. And you can see that our old file file.txt is renamed into g.txt. I hope you understand this command also. Let's go to our final command. Number 10. So, guys, our final command is help. It is one of the most important command 
the help command in Windows is used to display a list of available commands or provide detailed information about a specific command. So let's see this command in our CMD. So just type help and you can see that it displayed list of all available commands. You can see that it displayed all commands that we have seen earlier. Using this command, you can use any command. So remember this command. So guys, these are 10 basic Windows commands that will be very helpful to you. While you are working with command prompt, these commands are foundational and can help in managing files, folders, and system tasks efficiently. So guys, I assumed that you understood these all commands without any trouble. So see you in next video. Before that, if you like my video, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.